Um, all right. All right. So thank you everyone for joining us. Uh, my name is Ronald Piasecny. I am the president of Niagara Pride. And today we have Alan Booker from the Niagara Falls Office of Economic Development. He's going to be our guest speaker and presenter today. Uh, but I do have a couple of housekeeping announcements I just kind of want to announce for people. Just kind of run through a quick list here. Uh, we are in the midst, Niagara Pride is, of our August annual backpack drive. So we are out in Lockport today until one o'clock. Uh, if people want to drop off a backpack or school supplies, we're we're going to be uh, doing another drop off on Sunday, uh, the 22nd of August. Uh, that's going to be from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. at Spot Coffee in North Tonawanda on Webster Street. We will have the Justice League of Western New York there dressed up as superheroes. Oh, so nice. our, our event theme is Be a Superhero for LGBTQ Youth drop off a backpack, drop off some supplies. Uh, you get to meet some superheroes, uh, take pictures with them. It's free of charge to do that. Uh, so that's gonna be a great uh, little event. It's also our coffee clutch. So after you drop off a backpack, go into Spot Coffee, uh, sit down with some other LGBTQ folks from Niagara Pride, um, enjoy it. Again, that's happening from 10 to one o'clock. Um, the, the, uh, the backpack drop off and the coffee clutch is from 11 to 1. Uh, in addition to that, a very important thing that was launched uh, this month and is running until October 2nd is we are doing the LGBTQ plus community needs survey. This is your opportunity, uh, folks that are joining us, folks that will be watching this uh, video, this is your opportunity as a member of the LGBTQ plus community in Niagara County to share your thoughts and opinions and feelings about critical services such as mental health providers, physical health care providers, legal uh, issues, housing issues, uh, pastoral care, and social uh, programming. Niagara Pride is going to use this information in order to create programming for our 2020 year, but this information is also going to be shared publicly uh, with individuals throughout the county. We're gonna do it as a presentation that uh, individuals can uh, see the data, see what was reported. And we're gonna be sharing this with community providers as well to basically get those conversations going of, is your care that you provide LGBTQ affirming? Is it um, known throughout the community? What services are lacking and how do we develop that programming that is being identified as being a critical need for the LGBTQ plus community in Niagara County. So it is a, uh, it's really important to partake in the survey. It's the first of its kind uh, addressing these issues specifically for our community. So please go ahead, take a look at that link that is on Facebook. We're going to share that link on our website um, and we will also uh, in the coming days, share that link through our e-newsletter that we send out. So that's coming uh, coming down. Uh, so please take advantage of being a, a participant in that. And then finally, last announcement before we get to our guest speaker, I promise, is we are doing a fundraiser in partnership with the Haunted Forests in September. So uh, between September 23rd and September 26th, that weekend in Wilson, New York, the Haunted Forests will be doing a haunted hayride and some other scary kind of stuff on the property there. It's basically like a haunted house kind of uh, event. All of the, uh, sorry, not all, a portion of the proceeds that will be uh, generated during that weekend will be donated to Niagara Pride. Um, other weekends, they have partnered with other great organizations like Roswell Park, and other community providers, but that specific weekend is dedicated to Niagara Pride. And so on September 25th, we're gonna do our Night Owls Meetup. If you want to join us, we will be uh, meeting up at seven o'clock at the Niagara Pride tent. We're gonna have that tent that entire weekend, but you can meet up at 7 p.m. 
and if you purchase, you have to purchase your tickets online, but uh, tickets are like $27 to do the Haunted Hayride and the other activities there, but uh, people can uh, do that and do that with your friends, with other LGBTQ folks. So it's going to be a really great uh, kind of weekend and fun nighttime activity uh, for Halloween. And I cannot see what, Nick, what you're posting up there, unfortunately. It's not coming in on my phone. Nick, if you'd like to unmute yourself, you're more than welcome to share your announcement. Doesn't look like Nick is able can you, to. Can you hear me now? Yeah, hey we guys. can hear you now, Nick. Sorry, I didn't know I could speak to you. I thought you were just recording this for the uh, the page. Okay, so is it twenty seven dollars total? Like that's all the families are going to have to spend? It's twenty seven dollars per person. Okay, so. total. Like so, all the different things you're going to do there. Okay, total. Awesome. Yeah. Yep. Cool. Okay, I'll go uh, back to. Okay. <laughs> no problem. So um, that is it in terms of announcements and events that we have coming up. So we are super busy in the fall. We've got some great activities coming up, but without any further ado, the reason that we are here and that we are having our Lunch and Learn today is we are honored to have Alan Booker from the Niagara Falls Office of Economic Development. Woo woo, woo, -woo. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Super excited to have him here, and uh, we are uh, wanting to learn about the business opportunities, the economic opportunities, and Alan, if I'm not mistaken, you'll be talking about, um, especially with minorities, how uh, there may be different things and services to help minorities um, start businesses or, or kind of uh, get involved in Niagara Falls, uh, which is very critical in this time of COVID and a lot of businesses closing and individuals who may be wanting to open businesses. So this is Absolutely. a great topic. Um, so with that, I am going to pass the baton over to Alan. We can't thank you enough for being here today. Thank you. And uh, looking forward to this presentation. Great. Well, first of all, I wanna thank Niagara Pride for allowing me to be on your platform today to speak about economic development. Um, it's very near and dear to me. And I'm looking forward to also speaking to your virtual audience and really letting people know that Niagara Falls is open for business. And I'm gonna share a lot of different uh, programs that we have, a um, lot of good stuff going on. And if you have questions, you definitely feel free to, you know, you can ask me online or you can email me and I'll give you my email address at the uh, end of the presentation, um, as well as my phone number also at the end of the presentation. So, um, I promise you, I won't bore you to tears with a whole bunch of PowerPoints because I know everybody is PowerPoint to, uh, PowerPointed out. So I do have about nine or 10 slides. Uh, but before we get started, I just want to give you a little bit of background of um, who I am and, and kind of how I um, wound up working in the Office of Economic Development, which I'm honored to, uh, to be a part of the team. So um, I'm obviously born and raised here in Niagara Falls. I you know, grew up here, I went to school here, then I left and, and did some other stuff, uh, left, left, the, uh, left Niagara Falls, uh, traveled and all of that and circled my way back here and started working for the city years and years and years ago. I won't give the actual <laughs> date at this time, but um, started off working for a uh, neighborhood crime prevention program and worked my way up to working for the Office of Economic Development where I'm at today at uh, uh, City Hall. And like I said, there's a lot of great stuff going on in the city of Niagara Falls. And, and, and again, we're open for business. So um, that's kind of my, my quick and dirty, how I got into the, the, the field of economic development. I didn't wanna to share too much because I could be here for two and three hours. But um, so if I can have access to being uh, the shared screen mode, Justin, while you are giving access to Alan and handing off control so that he can share his PowerPoint, I'm just going to take this opportunity to once again thank Alan, uh, and I'm going to sign off so I can continue with the backpack drive. But uh, Alan, thank you again, and thank I'm looking you. forward to watching this presentation later uh, today. So 
Right. Um, and any questions about Niagara Pride? Uh, Justin is on our board of directors. Justin is the secretary of Niagara Pride. He will be able to answer questions if you have them about our organization as well. So okay. thank you, Alan. Thank you, everyone. And, thank you. Uh, Alan, take it away again. All right. So I'm going to do the share screen and go into, here we go. All right, so give me a second here. I just need to go into my slideshow. Okay. So like I was saying earlier, you know, we are the, the city of Niagara Falls Office of Economic Development and we are truly open for business. Uh, we welcome small businesses, large businesses and everything in between. So um, hopefully you will they consider Niagara Falls as a destination to definitely start a business. So one of the biggest questions that I get from people all the time is, so what do you do? What do we do? Uh, so basically here's what we do and more. This is just really a small percentage of, of our duties, but there's so much more uh, that we do to economic development, big uh, business development that it, it would be overwhelming to put on a slide um, and it would last hours and hours and hours. So. But the main thing we do is we meet with and we advise US and Canadian developers and investors um, on various opportunities here to develop in the city of Niagara Falls. We meet with people all the time. They call us, they email us. Um, before COVID, they would come by our office. And really we talk to them about opportunities. So they, they have a business plan, uh, whether it's large or small, and they may want to know if we have the, the land for them uh, that they can build on, or is there some financial incentives um, or, or whatever. So we, we do a lot of working and navigating with different developers and investors uh, so that we can see if we can help them uh, realize their dream here in Niagara Falls. So that's one of the main things that we do. We also help local entrepreneurs and business startups navigate the business uh, development resources. So when anybody is opening up a business, there, there's so many moving parts to this whole thing. I mean, there's everything from, you know, what is my business plan? Uh, who, who's going to help me put together my business plan? Uh, what should be in a business plan? Uh, how do I finance this business? Uh, what, are, what location do I have? So all of those things, uh, when people come into our office, especially like the startups, we help them navigate that because nine times out of 10, they're coming to the city to see if we can provide some sort of financial assistance. And with that, we do have certain programs that we can offer, but there's some things that they will need to do on their end in order for us to see if they're, we can work with them and, and move their, their project forward. So we now help them navigate through a lot of that. Um, we also work with a lot of county and state economic development agencies within New York State. So. Um, there's some financial incentives out there that we help people um, sort of navigate through. Um, there might be different development projects that we partner on. So not just the city of Niagara Falls, we work just in this, this silo. We work with the county and the state um, as a team. So that's a pretty big deal for us. And most importantly, we also uh, provide technical assistance for startups that are looking for different grant and loan programs to finance their projects. And one thing about our particular uh, funding sources in the city, everything is connected to job creation. So that's the whole point of anything that we are looking to work with, with applicants about, that they have to create jobs and that's gonna stimulate the, the city, stimulate the economy, uh, stimulate the state. Uh, so that's something that we, we definitely uh, take, we really are serious about that. So I'm gonna give you a brief overview of some of the grant and loan programs that we have uh, that the city offers to everyone um, that you may wanna consider if you're looking at opening up a business in Niagara Falls, which by the way, is called the NFC Development Corporation, which is the banking arm of the city of Niagara Falls. So one of our most popular grants would be the Micro Enterprise Assistant Grant. And that grant is basically up, you can, you can apply for that grant, and it's really up to $10,000. And obviously we say it's a dollar for dollar match. So we want you to have some skin in the game and we have some skin in the game. And businesses that qualify for that particular grant can use it for anything, as you can see on the screen, you know, equipment, furniture, um, you know, you're, you're moving into this space and you need to kind of reconfigure some things. 
So there's a lot that you can do with that particular grant. And again, it's one of our most popular grants among startup businesses. Um, so as a matter of fact, I was meeting with someone today on this exam, same exact grant. You know, we went over the paperwork and they're going to be turning it in and we're gonna hopefully move this, this plan uh, through the process, which they have a very good plan. So this is the Micro Enterprise Assistant Grant. The next grant is called the Industrial Growth Program um, Cash Grant and Loan. So you can get up to $200,000 if you are in the in, like in industry businesses located in the city of Niagara Falls. And as you can see in the eligible business section, uh, it's for manufacturing, warehouse, retail, and or services. And you can use this particular fund for renovating the property, beautification projects, um, improving the property inside and out, you know, whether, whether you're making alterations or remodeling or et cetera. Uh, so that's what this particular program fund is used for. Then we have the commercial grant assistance program, or as we call it, the CGAP, CGAP program. And that is up to $100,000. And your business has to be, first of all, there's an existing business in business for at least two years. Um, and if you go through the process and become eligible, then you could use that also for furnishing the business, machinery, fixtures, um, improvements, whether it's additions, uh, alterations or whatever. So for example, if you're opening up a restaurant and you wanna build a patio or you know extend or add a patio because you already had a restaurant and it's, you know, you want a patio. So, you can add on a patio um, or some other addition that might be uh, warranted for your business. So this is what the Commercial Grant Assistance Program or CGAP program is all about. And any questions so far? All right. Hey, Alan. Yes. I'm sorry, can you hear me? Uh, yeah. Question on the protocol of what you just said in yes. the 200,000 range for industrial or whoever, is there, okay, so is there a limit, like say 100,000 people come here, want to open up a small business, are you limited on the funding or is that just continual? So that is a very good question, Nick. Um, so yes, there, it's very limited. So it's really first come, first serve. And, obviously and about how many a year, say roughly in the history of Niagara Falls, do you, in this program, infancy maybe, I mean, that you know, of how, is it like an average of 10 or 20 companies come or like, on a, I know with the pandemic, it's hard to. So are you talking industry or just yeah is it is there is there a is there a sense of urgency for anyone that wants to open up a business uh in the realm of of our community or in general um every year like should should we hurry up and get a hold of you like if if we're afraid the funds are going to end by 21 so i would say it... this so and, and again thank you for the question it's a very good question i would say that you know we get people that'll call us all the time um and they yeah. have a business idea um, and we, we talk to them, we have, you know, right now we're Zooming, so we Zoom meet with them. And if we all feel that the, the particular, um, their proposal is warranted to go to the next level, then we introduce other types of financing plans or financial plans, which sort of sure. fits into this category, the industrial growth program, then that's something they will more than likely apply for. And if the funding is available and they qualify, then that works out to their favor. So everything is open. It's just a matter of, again, it's, it's the first come first serve basis since it's very limited. Um, and we right. get a number of people that will, that will come through. So essentially you've created a really great feeder program for those that want to start an incubator or modern, say like more of those, I don't know, more higher end cities in the sense of, of size of population where it's, it's more modern or West coast, like you, you provide a feeder. So basically by the time they get to the 200,000 level, You've got to know you get to know the person or the company very well, and so you have building rapports with this program. I think it's lovely, actually. I think it's a great, great and, and, thing. And you know what we do, and we we walk them through this. You know, we look at their plan and you know their financials and make sure they have the the financial backing uh, to either bring their program to the city or if they're already in the city and they want to grow it, make sure that they have the the, the funds that they can grow it, and then we just add a supplement to that because we're all about trying to help people. Um, and again, it's, 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 it's dollar for dollar match. And it's, you know, you, you have skin in the game. We have skin in the game. It's a really good project and we're going to try to help you out as best as we can. So, but very good question. Awesome. Thank you so much. I'll put myself back on mute so you can finish. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. No problem. Thank you. So now 
I'm gonna speed over to the mixed use rental rehab program. In fact, I was working with someone else today on this particular program. So I'm gonna give you a real life scenario. Had someone come in this morning, they are interested in a project in Niagara Falls, uh, and I can't kind of get into the details of what that will be, but it definitely qualifies for what we are, uh, what this grant is pretty much looking to do. So it's mixed use. So they get up to $10,000 per residential unit for remodeling them and turning them into market rate apartments. And then the bottom half of the building could be some sort of retail. So as you see in the picture, this building here, I don't believe they were, I gotta double check, but this building here, uh, 616 Niagara, if you notice on the rendering on the left, it's the Trek building, the business incubator, which is great. Business on the bottom, apartments up top. On the right, that's what the building looked like before they, as they were building it. So the, this particular funding is really good for those individuals or developers who are looking to take old buildings downtown, rehab them, into mixed use. So it could be apartments and a brewery, it could be apartments and a restaurant, it could whatever the imagination um, is for that, that space that they're looking at, this is a program they may want to consider. So, and again, they could, the, the, uh, the, the grant includes machinery, equipment, furniture, fixtures, um, they have to be in good standing and already have been in um, operation for at least two years to, in order to get this particular grant. So now this one here, this is an actual program and I'm gonna talk a little bit about this. So New York State has a program called the Minority and Women Owned Business Enterprise, MWBE. And it's a very big program here in New York State because basically, what this program does is it, it, it's increasing the utilization of women and minority owned businesses throughout New York State. And there's a whole process in order to become a certified MWBE in the state of New York. So all of that, that whole process, you can do online. And I'll take you through that in a few minutes. But as you can see on the screen where it says local small business development centers provide the following services whether it's Niagara County Community College's Small Business Development uh, Service Center or in Erie County or whatever county that you are located in, there should be a, a Small Business Development Center uh, that has someone designated to help you go through the application process online uh, to fill out the stuff for to become a minority and woman-owned business enterprise. And once you've gone through the paperwork, uh, which is pretty extensive, I believe it's five years that you are certified for, and then your name goes into the database, the New York State MWBE uh, certification database. So if there are businesses out there that need your services, um, you might be able to bid on those projects. And, and that's a very good thing. So um, it's definitely something uh, that you should consider. And when you do this, you should apply for this once you're one year into your business already. You don't wanna do it beforehand because you need to get your business started first, but get into business at least for one year or more, then consider if it's right for you, definitely apply for the MWBE uh, certification uh, that could be very helpful for you. Um, another piece of this is that the MWBE certification allows you uh, to go after additional funding because there's more funding out there if you are certified. You also have access to workshops and webinars uh, that are free and they have a lot of great information. So you could definitely take advantage of that. And there's other opportunities uh, within the program that goes on and on. I, did, I didn't list them on the screen, but there's so much more. And what I'll do is I will, uh, maybe in the chat box, I'll put the, uh, the email or the web address, or you can just email me and I can send you the link. And then that way you can go on the site and look at the MWBE uh, certification, what's required, what are some of the advantages of it, and it kind of takes you through the whole process. So any questions on anything? I know that was kind of brief, but I just wanted to really kind of give you a snapshot of our office, the Office of Economic Development here in the city of Niagara Falls, what we do. Again, we, we work with developers, uh, we work with investors, uh, we have people calling us all the time, emailing us. Um, there's a lot of interest here. 
Um, there's projects that we're working on now as we speak. And we would be very, very excited to have you guys, anybody out there, um, thinking about opening up a business in the city of Niagara Falls. And like I said, small or large, if we can help you, please give us a call. And, and my number is here on the screen. So you can reach me at 286-4481 or email me. Um, or if you want to find out more about some of the stuff I was talking about, which was the NFC Development Corporation's um, grant and scholarship or grant and loan programs, definitely check us out on our website, which is located at the bottom there. And it'll give you even more details on how you would need to qualify for those particular that particular funding source. Okay, so at this point, any questions on anything? Questions, comments? I'm curious about the MWBE. So it's minority and women. Mm -hmm. What minorities would would qualify? Is it primarily? ethnicity so, and race or would LGBTQ fall in that as well? So there is, as a matter of fact, I am going to stop the share here and I'm gonna pull up the screen so you guys can see that. Give me a second. And, uh, okay, so I'm going to reshare. screen. Oops. Okay, so this is the MWBE screen here. And I want to take you to here. Let's see if we can get over here. Oh. Alan, thank you for doing this. It's kind of interesting. I'm sitting in a meeting and folks like my father's age or just yeah. anyone really. And sometimes they don't know where to look. Yeah, there's a and lot. I mean, I could have done a lot more. There's just a lot of stuff. So I just wanted to no. really give you a brief introduction. And then obviously I'm, I'm available for conversation um, on the phone or if you wanna have a private Zoom meeting with me so I can really dig deeper into a lot of the things I talked about today, uh, which I would welcome. It's kind of interesting. I always compare it to the Bible and I say, Every line in the government or state or local offices, it's like reading a Bible in a Bible, yes. you know, of just a wealth of knowledge. So it's, it's great if you know someone like you that, that can navigate it for people that are, that are interested in opening small businesses and such and large. You know what? I wanted to find, I am going to, I'll, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'm going to send you guys a copy of the qualifications and, and exactly like race and sex on who qualifies for MWBE because there's a couple of different screens and I'm going to, I need to just find the screen. So I will send that information out to you if that's okay. Awesome. Thank you. As a matter of fact, I'll write myself a note. Okay. Stop the share, but this is the screen if you want to find some general information. Other questions? Well, I truly thank you guys for allowing me to speak on camera today about the Economic Development Office here in the city of Niagara Falls. And like I said, we're open for business. Um, if you have any questions, definitely give me a call at 286-4481. Or you can email me at allen, A-L-L-E-N dot booker, B-O-O-K-E-R at niagarafallsny.gov. Um, if you want to set up an appointment uh, or a virtual appointment to see me, um, you can call me and we can, I can set up a Zoom with you. Or if you want to come to City Hall and see me, um, I can also, we could meet downstairs um, on the main floor and I'd be happy to share some information with you. And in the meantime, I will get that list um, over to you, Justin, right away. Awesome. Thank you so much for your time. All right. Thank you. I appreciate it. Have a good day, guys. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.